Hey guys, it's Jodie and welcome to day three of Vampathon. So I'm just quickly filming this intro now because it's quite far into the day and it's about 3 p.m. now and I haven't really done much reading at all today. I had someone come to fit like our little smart meter thing and like just loads of errands and stuff. But I did read a manga this morning. So last night I finished Vampire Academy and this is then the second book that I finished. So that's Bison and Glass of Volume 1. I gave this four stars. This is just really, really creepy. It's about like ghosts and spirits and the illustrations. Probably my favourite illustrations in a manga ever. Like they are just so, so stunning. Like I'm obsessed with all the illustrations in here. And this is just such a beautiful like gothic manga. So I'm definitely going to read volume 2 maybe today or maybe tomorrow. But I gave this 4 stars and just really really enjoyed it. It basically follows this girl who kind of like signed this weird contract. I don't know how um, with like this kind of demon thing. And as a result she has to like figure out these riddles and free spirits. And yeah it's just really really fun and gothic and I'm just really enjoying it. So yeah I gave this 4 stars. So I do have a parcel as well from HarperCollins, so I might as well unbox it here. So I got this a few days ago, but I missed the delivery, so it's been sat at the post office. These are two proofs, and one of these is actually already out. So the first one is Cleopatra and Frankenstein by Coco Mellers, and this one doesn't come out yet. It comes out, I think, next year? Yes, yeah, so this comes out on the 17th of February 2022. Relatable debut novel about the spontaneous decisions that shape our entire lives and those imperfect relationships born of unexpectedly perfect evenings. And I just think this sounds so good. I love the cover as well. It's not something I'd usually read because I think it's fiction, but I'm excited for this one. It just sounds like really, really good. And then I also got sent um, The Lighthouse Witches by CJ Cook. So this came out in September and I was going to actually buy this because it just sounds amazing and it's witchy, but the lovely Amara from HarperCollins asked me if I wanted a proof because she had some left and of course I said yes. So I'm very, very happy that I got this. This is like a really, really gothic thriller to do with witches and it's sat on like this kind of spooky little island and there's witches and all other things going on and yeah like look how stunning this proof is as well the final copy of this as well is so beautiful i really want to buy it um but i'm just really really grateful that i sent this and i can't wait to read this as well this is just so pretty like i'm so happy that i have this so yeah those are the two books that i was very very kindly sent so i think my plan now is actually to head into town quickly so it's about 3 p.m so i'm gonna have to be really quick but I think well I have a book I want to go and pick up that I've reserved and then I may just grab like a coffee and sit and do some reading whilst I'm out just for like a change of scenery but I also want to get some more Halloween decorations because we just don't have enough of the front garden and I just want like a lot more so I may go and buy some more of those as well if I have time um but the plans for this evening are to have another like cozy reading night so I think I think I'll probably read like another manga and then maybe start a new book or something. I'm not too sure yet. I'm going to see what I'm in the mood for later. But I think I'm going to take a discovery of witches with me into town. I'll probably take a manga and maybe something else. I don't know exactly what I want to read if I will read while I'm out. But yeah, that is the plan for now. I'm going to go and do that and then I will update you guys when I get back later. dinner and I've just been editing yesterday's vlog because it's late going up because I'm dumb and I forgot to do it before I went out earlier so it's currently uploading to YouTube and it's like 8 p.m now well it's almost 9 p.m so it's really annoying but I'm still gonna upload it now anyways I mean I can't really do anything else I basically 
just went into town i did start reading some of this book so i started this is the of brothers and other gruesome tales by jen campbell and i'm on page 30 at the moment so i've read a couple of the stories and i'm really enjoying it already so far the first one was definitely my favorite and these are just really dark fairy tales and it's just a lot of fun so yeah i'm definitely enjoying this and i definitely plan to continue reading this like maybe tonight and tomorrow and then i also have been listening to the audiobook for a discovery of witches while i was out so i'm currently on chapter four which is page 34 and yeah obviously i'm loving this because this is a read for me and this is my patreon buddy read book I'm reading it very very late i've started this book so many times this month and then put it down to do other things so i just kind of restarted it again today and yeah i'm enjoying it already so far i just love how this jumps straight into the story it's very easy to understand the world i feel straight away it's not over complicated and the writing in this is just so beautiful and i love the whole kind of academia side to this and the author of this book is a historian as well so she's very well researched and like i just love this and yeah it's just it's so good and if you kind of read this book you'll understand that this is literally very insta love and that's because that is how it works in this world so vampires emotions are very very heightened as are a witches and it's very rare as well for these kind of things to happen so when they do happen they are very intense very quick and we also have to acknowledge the fact that matthew our love interest in here is a thousands of year old vampire so for him if he finds someone in all of that time then he's obviously going to be very very insta lovey with them like because it's not often that happens for him and he's been alive for you know i think I, i'm sure he's like a thousand years old or something um so yeah and you've also got to understand that um you know he was born and has grown in a period that was very like misogynistic and very kind of um almost sexist in a way so not that he's like that like he, as you read this book like he definitely does push Diana to be herself, be like a badass, like, you know, all that kind of stuff. But he can be a little bit, I don't know, like, just annoying. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, obviously his customs are very, very ancient. Like, he's used to, like, you know, opening the car door for a woman, like, doing this. Like, he feels like, as a man, he has to do those things. Um, and it's just, like, so funny because Diana's just, like get away from me <laughs> and i love that yeah like i feel like if you can see past those things in this book then you can really enjoy it um this book's definitely not for everyone though and i can see why some people don't like it but i just love it so much like i just love diana and i love the world and the magic and the witchy vibes in this book and yeah like i'm already loving it so i'm really happy that i'm rereading this at the moment and i'm going to continue doing that it's not technically on my vampathon tbr but it is because i was planning to read it this month anyways so i am adding it to my vampathon tbr officially um so hopefully i'll finish it during vampathon i'm either going to listen to the audio for this or i'm going to listen to either a bridge of souls or we have always lived in the castle i'm not sure which one i want to listen to yet but i think what i'm going to do is tried to put fairy lights on these shelves behind me i bought 20 meter long ones because i have four shelves to try and get them on so hopefully they're long enough i don't think they will be but we shall try i think i'm gonna sort those out and then once i've done that i may decorate my shelves for halloween because i've not done that yet so may do that and i'll listen to an audiobook while i do it um also before i start doing any of that i did pick up two books whilst i was out as well um so the book i went to pick up was actually a dune and this is a book i never thought i would actually buy to be honest but look at this edition it's just so pretty like i had to do it yeah because i found out that this edition was like selling out and it made me want it more um and i just feel like in the future like i may want to actually pick this up because it is one of those very kind of popular iconic books and i just feel like i'd probably regret not buying it in the future so for future me's sake i bought it now um so yeah i got the waterstones exclusive edition of june with these gorgeous spring edges so i picked that up i might listen to this on audio like next year or in the next couple of months like i don't know um, i'm definitely intrigued by the story but loads of people say it's very very complicated so that's what's put me off it like the most anyway i also picked up the man in tree witches so i actually already have a paperback copy of this that i was sent but i saw the hardback which i think now you can't really get or i just haven't seen it in stores 
and I really really wanted the hardback so I got myself it um and yeah I probably just like gave the paperback away or something I don't know I had to have it for my witchy book collection it's a really pretty hardback it's actually not too long so I could maybe even read this of Amphathon I mean this is a possibility yeah I picked those two books up and I also got these as well which are book plates so basically you get like this so it has a j and then i can write it belongs to and put my name there and you stick these inside your book like this here which i thought was quite nice so yeah i got those as well um but yes i'm going to i think put the fairy lights on the shelf and listen to an audiobook i need to decide which one and then i will update you guys later i do not recall that constance and i have ever opened the library books which are still on our kitchen shelf it was a fine April morning when I came out of the library. and it is now day four of vampathon so i did decide to include day four with day three's vlog just because i didn't really feel like day three vlog was long enough and i also couldn't upload day two in time because my wi-fi went like kind of down because it was really windy so if that didn't upload in time for it to go up on the actual day it was posted which means i'm now like well over a day behind frankie what are you doing i don't want like to be like really behind on Vampathon vlogs if that makes sense like like uploading them on the day so yeah I'm just gonna stick day three and four together which I'm pretty sure is what I did last year as well um and I hope you guys don't mind that um but yeah basically it's currently either half two or half three I actually don't know which of the two it is and tonight I'm actually going to a book club in a Waterstones in a local city I'm gonna meet up with a couple of friends for coffee and then I'm gonna go to the book club and probably just like wander around the bookstore which will be really really nice so I don't know how much reading I'll get done when I go out my airpods are dead and I haven't got time to charge them so I've got my old earphones with me where I don't even know if they work so if they work then I'll listen to some more of We Capture the Castle because I'm like just over halfway through that so I would like to finish that very very soon so I might listen to some of that or I might listen to some of the discovery of witches I'm not sure but I did finish reading this book today so this is the sister who ate her brothers and I really enjoyed this I gave it four stars this is a collection of basically fairy tales but they are kind of rewritten with like a dark twist and i just really really enjoyed these some of my favorites this one here i actually kind of thought it was funny which is probably bad okay um, called the husband who cheated death and he basically asked his wife to like put on her wedding dress and get dressed up looking all nice and she's like oh is it so you can see me one last time while you're on your deathbed like all dressed up and looking nice and he's like no it's because of her death likes pretty things <laughs> and then death comes and takes her instead of the husband and i just thought it was really really funny really morbid but funny um but yeah there's just loads of really dark like cool like tales in here and i just really really enjoyed it it was just a really fun read and yeah i gave this four stars so this is book three finished of the readathon i definitely could be reading a lot more but i was saying this in the group chat the other day i don't even think i've actually done any reading for like a third of the time the readathon's been on like I barely read like I barely sat down to read at all like it's actually kind of bad but I've been going out and doing things and it's just yeah it is what it is I've read three books I'm happy with that so far so yes I'm really sure what physical book to take with me I might actually take Crave and start Crave um because this is on my Vampathon TBR I don't know if I'll finish this because my main priority is the Discovery of Witches but I'm listening to it on audio this time because I've never listened to it on audio and I started it and I really really enjoyed it so I'm going to continue listening to it but I kind of do also want to start this so I'm not sure if I should try and 
physically read some of the Discovery Witches or maybe start this. I think I'm going to take this with me and start this because it seems like it will be fun. So yeah, I think we're going to take this. I think I might also try and go to Food and Planet because I always like seeing if they've got any like books in there that um, Watchstones can't get. So yeah, I might do that as well. But yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to start rambling and I will update you guys when I get back. So I'm taking my Dracula book sleeve and then I'm going to take this tote bag as well that I got the other day um, when I went to Pendle. So I think I might take this because it's like the perfect time to use this because it's Halloween week. Um, so I'm going to take this just in case I do buy anything or like get any books. I'm not planning to get any books but I say that every time and always leave with a stack so we'll see. But I'm going to take these with me and I'm also I think going to get a pumpkin spice latte when I get to town which is exciting. But first I need to figure out where Frankie's gone. And then I'm gonna head out. <laughs> So I've just gotten home and it's currently 9pm so it's really late. So I went to the book club and it was really fun. I met up with a couple of friends as well. And my friend Danny got me this a Jack Skeleton thing. It's a little belated birthday gift and I'm so obsessed with it. I haven't seen her in so long just because of like COVID and everything. Uh, but she got me this and I love it so much and it's so cute. And then I did get some books obviously. So I went into Oxfam and I got a couple of books while I was in there. So I got this Canterbury Classics edition of Arabian Nights. This was only £6 and it's so beautiful. It has gold edges, a beautiful spine and it's just a stunning book. So I had to have this obviously. Then I also got this book here. So I actually did buy this in paperback the other week. Now you all know I'm a sucker for a hardback. I will always get the hardback over the paperback and this was in Oxfam so I bought this and I'm going to return the paperback. That's Fairies A Dangerous History so this is a nice hardback edition and I always prefer the hardback so yeah I'm going to return my paperback copy but I'm really happy that I found that. And then I also picked up this edition of Haunted Liverpool because I went on that ghost tour and they were talking about these books. I actually own a couple of them but they're really hard to get now. And I saw this one and I thought I may as well pick it up. So I got that. And then I obviously went to Waterstones for the book club. And I got some books while I was in there. So I did get this book, which is the second book in a series. Now I actually really want to get my hands on a hardback of the first book. But I just haven't been able to yet. But when I saw this one, I just got it. It's so pretty. Um, so it's the second book to the dance of thieves by mary e pearson and this is val with thieves so it's the second one and it's just so pretty and so i got that and i'm definitely going to be getting the first book as soon as i can find it in hardback and i'm really excited to read both of those and then i got two of the picks for next month's book club books um so i'm now going back to the book club that's in a local branch just because it's really fun i haven't been there since pre-covid but um yeah i'm gonna go to next month as well and these are two of the books out of the selection that we can read i don't know if one of these may be my patreon buddy read next month because i'm planning on putting this in as one of the choices because i know it's very popular so i got the love hypothesis by ali hazelwood so i did actually get sent a copy of this already from the publisher which was very kindly signed but it has the ugly tiktok sticker on it and i don't know i just wanted this copy because it's nice and fluffy and it has no sticker so i'll keep the signed one like just on my shelf because it's signed and then i'll read this physical copy i'm really excited for this it's a romance it's supposed to be a kylo ren and I remember her name but fanfic kind of vibe to it um but i've just heard this is an amazing romance so i'm really excited for this one and then i also got this book here which is the promise of fire the king maker chronicles by amanda boucher and this is recommended by some of the girls at the book club and is one of our picks next month this is supposed to be a fantasy romance and i've never heard of it before so i'm really excited to read this so yeah that's my like little of book haul and i think for now i'm just gonna tidy up a little bit and um sort a few things out maybe do a bit of editing and then i want to read i've listened to some more of my audiobook as well for we have always lived in the castle to be honest i'm not really vibing with it like if i was physically reading it, i definitely like probably would have put it down um but i'm just quite confused like i'm not gonna lie like i just don't really get it and i'm really confused by the whole story and 
I'm just not really, I don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking at the moment like 2.5 stars. Um, but I'm on chapter 8 of that currently, which is, let's see what page it is. There was like a fire or something just happened and I just don't understand what's happened and like what the hell is going on. Like I'm honestly so bloody confused by this book. If anyone can explain this book to me in the comments, I would really appreciate it. Like, because I just don't really get it or what's going on. So I would love if someone could explain it to me. Um, so yeah, I'm on page 98 at the moment. Um, so I'm almost done with this one. And like I said, I'm just not really sure how I feel about it. I think it's just a bit confusing for me. I'm not really sure why, but I'm just not really understanding the characters or what's really going on. It's nicely written and it is easy to listen to, but I'm just kind of confused, I'm not gonna lie. So yeah, hopefully I can finish that soon. I might listen to some more of it tonight, I'm not sure. I kind of want to start physically reading a new book. So I didn't read any of Crave when I was out, but I didn't read at all. But I may start Crave or Vampire Academy 2. I'm not really sure which one yet, but I'm gonna sit down with my cup of tea soon and start reading a book and I'm excited for that. But yes, that is my little haul for now. Just gonna sort my library room out and then I will update you guys in a bit. <laughs> Just did a post on my Instagram story asking which book I should read next between these three because I really don't know. So I've got Crave, I've got Vampire Academy 2, and then I have this dark vampire romance. I am in the mood for a bit of romance, but like I also just don't know if I want to read this one so. Yes, I'm going to give it like another 10 minutes and then I will see what the results are. So at the moment, I think Crave is winning. Crave is definitely winning at the moment. So potentially going to read Crave, but we'll see. Um, I just really don't know what I'm in the mood for. Like I'm in the reading mood, but I don't know what I want to read and it's really frustrating. Um, but hopefully I can finish a couple of audiobooks as well today or tomorrow, I don't know um but yeah it's getting quite late it's like half 10 now so i need to actually pick up a book and start doing some reading okay, so i'm just wrapping up yesterday's vlog but like day three and fours um because i didn't film an outro and i didn't actually do any more reading last night at all i had to edit a little bit and then i just had to tidy up around the house because i've been neglecting it all week so yeah it's just been really busy few days so it's actually been really hard to daily vlog and daily vlogging as a whole is not easy like especially when you're out a lot and you have like a million things to do so yeah day three and four not the best but i did finish i think two books during those days i finished a manga and a the sister ate the brothers book i can't remember what it's called and i have actually almost finished this book so i will be finishing this today i have like half an hour of the audio left so yeah i just thought i'd pop on and wrap up this vlog i hope you did enjoy day three and four anyway i'm sorry it wasn't the best but i hope that you're still enjoying these little daily vlogs make sure you look out for day fives because today should be quite fun um i mean i don't have any plans but i'm hoping to get a lot of reading done and then this evening well i do have plans for this evening i'm going to a live candlelit orchestra with my nan and jamie and they are playing halloween spooky soundtrack so they're gonna be playing like tim burton and things like that and i'm really excited because i've never seen like a live orchestra before i'll be candlelit and just really spooky so i'm really excited i don't know if i'd be able to film in there but you will see that in friday's wait no what day you will see that on saturday which will be day five so like, i'm getting so confused with all this um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video and for all your lovely comments on vampathon so far i really do appreciate it and i am having a lot of fun i hope that you are enjoying it as well all of my social media will be linked in the description box as always along with the link to my patreon where you can find extra content from me where i do like reading vlogs and extra things like decorate for halloween stuff like that there's lots of behind the scenes photos and we have a monthly body read and a discord as well which is really really fun so i should hopefully be uploading some behind the scenes photos this weekend because it's halloween weekend i'm hoping to do a lot of spooky stuff um but yes all of that is in the description box if you did enjoy this video please do give it a big thumbs up and leave a spooky emoji in the comments if you did make it to the end i hope you're all safe and well i hope you're reading lots of good books and i'll see you in the next video bye